And in the latest display of opposition unity ahead of the 2019 poll, Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav seems to be ready with anything and ready with any compromise to keep the BJP out of power. Akhilesh Yadav has said that the alliance with the BSP will remain intact in Uttar Pradesh for the 2019 general polls. His party is even ready to make this compromise and be Mayavati's junior partner if it helps to ensure the BJP's complete rout in the polls next year. Earlier, BSP Supremo Mayavati had said that her party will only be ready for an alliance if the Samajwadi party is ready to play second fiddle and they are given a respectable number of seats. Akhilesh Adav has even clarified his party is ready to sacrifice two to four seats to keep the alliance intact for 2019 elections. The Samajwadi Party, BSP Alliance, has also performed quite well in the recently concluded by polls. RLD, BSP, SP combined defeating BJP in Kerana by polls, while Samajwadi Party, BSP together defeating the BHP in Noorpur Assembly by polls. Let me go straight across now to Samajwadi Party's Ghansham Tiwari. Mr. Tiwari, good morning. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So, uh, you know, we're getting all these indications and, and these words from Akhilesh Yadav. What's the plan? What's the strategy that has been chalked out uh, between the BSP and the SP going ahead before the 2019 elections? Good morning. The template for 2019 is to end this misrule of BJP in Uttar Pradesh and send a message across the country. Hmm. In Uttar Pradesh, we have defeated BJP in Western Uttar Pradesh, hmm. in Eastern Uttar Pradesh, and in Central Uttar Pradesh. What Akhilesh Ji has said simply means that this alliance is not a merely arithmetic alliance. This alliance is about the voice of the people, and it is not the arithmetic that will play the, the primary role in population of this alliance. Hmm. All right. But, you know, uh, definitely the experiment has worked in the recently concluded by polls. But will the Samajwadi Party be okay with playing uh, second fiddle to the Bahujan Samaj Party? It is not about playing second fiddle. Every, everyone in Uttar Pradesh appreci appreciates the type no, but of... But Akhil sir, is also saying that the party is willing to make a compromise if it helps to ensure BJP's defeat. So, when it comes to arithmetic, as I said, that we are not looking at... A nearly an arithmetic alliance. We are looking at an alliance which is holistic and if we have to become the architect of, of this alliance, mm. we are ready to go an extra mile. Mm. All right, so just kindly stay on with me. We also have with us BJP's Gaurav Bhatia. Gaurav, thank you so much for speaking to us and a good morning to you. So what do you make of this new alliance uh, which already has uh, reaped great benefits in the recently concluded by polls? But Akhilesh Yadav willing to go the extra mile, even willing to compromise a bit in order to accommodate the BSP ahead of 2019? See, it is very clear, first of all, that uh, neither the Samajwadi party nor the BSP has the strength to actually face the might of the BJP alone, so they have come together. Hmm. And today's statement is very important because it shows that a party that has been making compromises in the inherent ideology that it has now is even willing to make compromises otherwise. Hmm. And when you do not have the strength of ideology and leadership, then your politics is weak and therefore you are prone to make these compromises which the Samajwadi party is making. But the more important part is that they do not have any cohesiveness within mm. themselves. There is no agenda for the people. It is about coming together only for the lust of power. Mm. But there were many who say that, you know, the, the new chemistry between Akhilesh Yadav and Mayavati is, is what's rattling the BJP. Uh, the BJP is uh, inherently very strong and I think the 2017 assembly elections prove that as well. Mm. BJP did very well mm. and we will have a counter strategy if they come together but I think it would not be based on them coming together or not. We have to ensure that we get more than 50 percent. Do you think votes. it's the crisis that both the parties find themselves, uh, you know, the two regional heavyweights being forced to close ranks, but that, that could also, you know, be a disadvantage to the BJP in the elections because it would consolidate their core uh, uh, vote banks, whether it's the backward class or the Dalit, uh, uh, you know, vote banks, which, which just might go against the BJP. No, I will tell you, see, these alliances are not pure arithmetic because uh, remember 2017 elections, hmm. the Samajwadi Party and Congress came together the people rejected them and their combined vote bank was far lower than what they got earlier. 
So, you know, it is also about providing good governance, strong leadership. And I think the electorate is very smart. They want to see whether you have an ideology to serve the people or not. Mm. And, uh, and right now it is very clear that the agenda to come together is not to serve the people. Mm. It is only because they both are, uh, you know, seeing serious corruption charges. Mm. Uh, these are parties that believe in dynastic rule. And okay. also, you know, they do communal politics and that is bringing them together. Mr. Ganchang Tiwari, how would you respond to that? The BJP is saying that there's no common ideology, there's no common platform. The only aim and purpose is to defeat the BJP. It's uh, purely out of vendetta and politics that the BSP and the uh, Samajwadi Party are joining hands and coming together. Well, after four years, when your own ally has put a no-confidence motion against you in the parliament, hmm. when your national president is doing some work for Samarthan and reaching out to their, your own allies who got the same mandate that you got, BJP is fighting its own allies more ferociously than it is fighting the opposition. Hmm. State after state, from, from Jammu Kashmir to Andhra Pradesh to Maharashtra. Hmm. So BJP does not understand what alliance building is, what uh, election is. This is a party that is living in Hubris okay. under the debris of, of their tall failed promises. And people across the country want a political alternative that right. is ready to throw away this, this government. Right. We also have with us Akhilesh Pratap Singh who is joining us from the Congress party. Akhilesh ji, what do you want to say? What do you want to Akhilesh Yadav is saying that they are more than willing to compromise. They will also take some understanding with the BSP. Where the seat distribution is the question. But their primary aim is that the BJP should not return to power. Look, this is a good thing. जब एलायसेज होते हैं तो लोगों को कंप्रोमाइज करने पड़ते हैं पार्टी को और ये अच्छे संकेत हैं कि पार्टियां उनका मन बना चुकी हैं लीडर्स उसके लिए मन बना चुके हैं और अभी मैं सुन रहा था 50 परसेंट बीजेपी अमित शाह जी बोलते हैं अरे 5 परसेंट नहीं मिलेगा और पूरे हिंदुस्तान में इनको सीटें बीजेपी के लोगों को तो गांव वाले दौड़ा ले रहे हैं, वो वो बताने जा रहे हैं काम तो पूछ रहे हैं कौन से काम की हो, आप जो यहाँ हमारे गांव में बताओ, तो अब अधिकारियों की पूरी फोर्स गांव में उतारी जा रही है, फिर भी कोई सुनने वाला नहीं है, जनता देख नहीं रही क्या जनता को सब दिखता है, वो ऊपर से दिखा रहे हैं 50 परसेंट छोड़े फाइव परसेंट सीटें जीतना इनके लिए लाले पड़ जाएंगे हम बार बार काट के हारी नहीं चढ़ते दूर परे फोटो का प्रदेश की सरकार है कि दिन दिन लग रहे हैं गए दिन है जी अखिलेश जी थैंक यू सो मच इंडिया टुडे से बात करने के लिए एंड वी लाइक टू लाइक टू थैंक घनश्याम तिवारी एंड गौरव भाटिया वी आल्सो हैव सम मोर पॉलिटिकल रिएक्शंस ऑन द एसपी बीएसपी अलाइंस एंड अखिलेश यादव सेइंग दैट ही इज विलिंग टू कंप्रोमाइज अ बिट टू अकोमोडेट द बीएसपी लेट्स लिसन इट आज कहता हूं कि बहुजन समाज पार्टी से गठबंधन रहेगा और अगर दो चार सीटें आगे पीछे भी रहेंगी और त्याग भी करना पड़ेगा तो हम समाजवादी लोग पीछे नहीं हट सकते देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी इस गठबंधन से डरी हुई है क्योंकि चार चार जगह हार गई है और वो जानती है राजनीति का गणित ये गठबंधन सीधे पचासी और पंद्रह की लड़ाई है तो पंद्रह वाले लोग इसीलिए परेशान हैं मैं इतना ही कहूँगा कि अभी वो देखिए जितने लोग इस तरह से बयान दे रहे हैं वो लोग किसी न किसी रास्ते से किसी न किसी बैक डोर से इस प्रयास में हैं कि हम भी काश इस गठबंधन का हिस्सा बन जाते हैं काश इस गठबंधन में हम भी शामिल हो जाते हैं इस तरह से बयान दे करके लोग अपनी उपस्थिति बनाना चाहते हैं लेकिन वो भी जानते हैं कि इस गठबंधन का कितना मजबूत असर होगा बुआ बबुआ आपस में खुद लड़के खत्म हो जाएंगे और ये चूंकि मुद्दों पर आधारित गठबंधन नहीं है इसलिए मुद्दों पर मुद्दा विहीन गठबंधन कभी भी दीर्घायु नहीं होता चलने वाला नहीं होता और चुनाव आते आते पहले 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 भरोसा ही होगा Kumara Pashek joins us for more on the new, uh, you know, bonhomie between the old arch rivals, Samajwadi Party and the BSP. Kumara Pashek, what's your reading? I mean, Akhilesh Yadav is really going the extra mile there, uh, saying things that he's willing to accommodate, willing to compromise. But 
can he trust mayavati given uh, you know the old relationship and the past that these two parties have had and mayavati who is also known to be quite fickle minded and uh, she may be serious about the alliance but she too can uh, have a change of heart well avantika uh, akhilesh has no option but to Uh, go with mayavati even uh, akhilesh yadav uh, talking to india today uh, uh, f- uh, f- few months back had clearly said that uh, f- uh, for alliance he can go to extra mile he can go to uh, he can do any sacrifice mm-hmm. but uh, what akhilesh yadav said yesterday at uh, at manpuri uh, was clearly that uh, the congress and and and, and bsp uh, uh, chemistry is growing day by day and we are seeing that uh, congress and bsp might get tie up in uh, rajasthan and madhya pradesh and that is uh, that is that, that is the move, uh, uh, main thing that force akhilesh yadav to change his stand even if his party cadres are not happy with the uh, akhilesh yadav stand but they are ready to go with mayavati uh, and we have seen that mayavati has done the mature politics in in this whole alliance yes. mayavati has toughened his stand just before the karana polls and said she will get uh, she will only uh, go for the alliance when, when she gets the respectable seat and now akhilesh had conceded it so clearly uh, 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 to keep the bjp away uh, akhilesh is trying hard to get this uh, 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 alliance uh, go through avantika very interesting kumar thanks so much for joining us and ahead of the general elections in 2019 the congress is also reaching out to dalits and backward classes with congress president rahul gandhi today addressing the national convention of the obc department he is going to be uh, giving that address in the national capital at 11 in the morning and in order to move the backward communities rahul gandhi is also expected to make a few promises as well now a blueprint to revive the party's defunct obc cell could also be unveiled at the event which will be attended by congress is obc top brass the move comes after obc is virtually dumped the congress especially in the hindu belt following the rise of regional parties ever since rahul gandhi take, took over rather the mantle of the congress the party has now been attempting to increase the representation of obcs and dalits within the party thanks for watching the video For more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to India today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to